Okay, Larry. I can accept that God is real. He's the creator. But what good is it when he is not here? I am not sure that I understand your question, Lulu. Are you implying that since God is in heaven, that he is not here, Lulu? Oh, hello, Fabiola. When did you get here? Hi, Lulu. Is that what you meant, Lulu? Yes, that is what I mean. A person cannot be in more than one place at the same time, right? How does God even know what is going on down here? Lulu, there are some things that you need to learn about God. First is that God is omnipresent. He can be in infinite places at the same time. That is so true, Lulu. How can a person be in several places at the same time, Larry? That does not make sense. You would be right if God was just a person, but God is so much more than that. God is the creator of time and space, Lulu. Therefore, time and space have no influence on God. Let's assume that God is omnipresent. What can he do for me when I need him if he is so far away in heaven? Lulu, God is not just omnipresent, knowing all things. He is also omnipotent or all-powerful. There is nothing God cannot do, Lulu, although there are things that he would never do, like lie. Explain to me this omni... omnipotent thing. Okay, omnis means all, potent means powerful. Therefore, omnipotent means all-powerful. That implies no end to God's power. Lulu, that means that God is as powerful on earth as he is in heaven, regardless of where he physically exists. And remember, omnipresent means that he is all-present, or everywhere. This religion thing is very technical. Okay, God is omnipresent, everywhere, and omnipotent, all-powerful. But how does he know what I need, when I need it? Prayer? God knows what you need before you ask, or are even aware that you need it, Lulu. That's right. God is also omniscient. That means... Let me guess. All scientific, right? Well, almost, but not quite. Science means to know. Therefore, God is all-knowing. That is why he always knows what you need before you even ask. That also means that God, and only God, has the ability to read your thoughts. If he knows my thought, even before I have them, then what is the purpose of praying to him? Is the universe on autopilot? No, Lulu. Our Father in Heaven is not an absentee parent. He is a perpetually present daddy. That is why he is omniscient omnipresent, and all this is possible because he is omnipotent. Are you starting to understand, Lulu? This all goes along with his character, that God is love. Since the creation, Satan has attempted to make God appear to be non-caring sovereign, much like the idea that God is just the cosmos. These non-biblical ideals have attempted to mix themselves with truth, to distort the image of God, since Eve was tricked by the serpent. I am starting to get it. All I've ever wanted was a family of my own. And look what God has given me. Larry, Fabiola, all of you present. And a daddy. Here and in heaven. Only God can mend a broken heart. But only you can keep from rejecting God's gift. Are you ready to get out of the way? and watch the Lord God change your life in ways you never believe could happen, Lulu. I think that I am afraid of making this commitment, Larry. I've always been told that we have to fear the Lord, and I do. He makes me quake. Lulu, to fear the Lord does not mean to be afraid of Him. It means to hold Him in the highest esteem or place in your heart. Fearing the Lord is not an emotion, Lulu. It is a state of being, 
It is how we live our lives in order to magnify His excellence. What must I do to inherit God as my father, Larry? <laughs> Repent for the forgiveness of your sins, Lulu, and he will do the rest. I repent, Daddy in heaven and earth. I am yours. God is incredibly pleased, little turtle. Welcome into the joy of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.